Well, hello again. One of my commenters called me a uh, INFJ mom, and <laughs> I kind of like that. But uh, anyway, uh, another commenter asked me since my last video about this whole coronavirus nonsense. Well, it's not nonsense, but it's it's kind of all over the place it's all you can see on the news and it's all anybody wants to talk about now um you know of course i've been following it since the beginning because you know i get obsessed with things and that was something i got obsessed with for whatever reason i'm kind of not over it now but i'm really not i'm still following the numbers and paying attention to things but what's happening here now is um starting this wednesday so in two days my children all all Wisconsin schools will be closed for three weeks to stop the spread and I have mixed feelings about that and one of those weeks of course is our normally scheduled spring break so that's the week in the middle um, I'm concerned, of course, for the children that depend on the school system for food. Because I know there's people in our community and there's probably people in many communities that, you know, the school lunch and the school breakfast is something that they depend on to feed their children and something that these children depend on to get food. Um, but. On the other hand, I was kind of, you know, kind of um, contemplating and praying over this the last couple days and, you know, what we should be feeling about it or what I feel about it and what's going on culturally and that sort of thing. So that's what I want to share with you guys. And for what it's worth, in my Midwestern lady opinion, um, you know, I've talked before about this thing, you know, in our culture, this hustle culture, you know, and the other thing that I like to say is it feels like busyness is next to godliness. And that's something that's praised in our culture. And I think like other countries, we are headed for um, lockdown, isolation, quarantine, that sort of thing which hasn't been done in our country for a very long time, maybe since, you know, the 1918 um, Spanish flu epidemic, other than small bits of quarantine. Actually, a few years back, uh, one, my ch one of my children contracted whooping cough at school. Even though we were all vaccinated, we all got it, and we were quarantined for nine days. And um, that's not a countrywide or citywide quarantine, but I have to say I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> we were not allowed to leave and um it was kind of nice but what i'm thinking is actually going to happen in our culture now there is going to be some negative things especially in families that are not safe or you know that that kind of worries me a bit too i think about you know families that are in active abuse or neglect situations where um if children are going to be home for three weeks to a month and not able to go to school or go out that that could get really bad and that that scares me a little bit but in the majority of situations you know i feel like actually that there is going to be some good that comes out of this i think that people are going to realize that that their core families because you're going to be forced to spend time with your core families you won't be able to go out and have all these distractions and things they're going to realize that they need to spend more time. They're going to realize that um, busyness is not next to godliness. And perhaps they were doing too much in the first place and they need to slow down a little bit. And I think there's also going to be a shift in how people take care of themselves. I feel like, you know, there's going to be a little bit more of people learning how to cook, people learning how to prepare things on their own because they can't be dependent on restaurants and instant food if we're locked down and not allowed to go out all the time. And, you know, not where I live, but a lot of places, you know, they and a lot of people get their food um, one day at a time. Um, 
that's really not an option for us. We could never afford to eat out. And I hate going to the grocery store. So going every single day to get meals for dinner, <laughs> that sounds gross to me. So I, I feel like culturally we're going to have a shift in values. And I feel like um, as devastating as this virus may end up being for a certain percentage of the population, I feel like something good is going to come of it. And... You know, I don't have any fear of this virus because, um, call me a fool, but God knew about this virus for a long time, long before it was either um, made or, or just happened. Um, if it happened naturally or if it was made in a lab, either way, God knew this was going to happen. He knew what was going to happen to all of the people, and we have choices to make. We can do the right thing and be helpful to other people. We can take care of our families. We can take this time of isolation. You know, I have three weeks ahead of me where my children will be home. We can take this time to bond back to our families, keep each other safe. Um, I definitely intend on planting a garden, as I normally do, um, and working on a little bit more being self-sustaining and working on um, those sorts of things just in case things really do fall apart. And I kind of made a comment the other day um, about this on one of my older videos because one of my subscribers is now getting a little bit worried about it. And um, yeah, it's definitely something to pay attention to. Um, I don't think we should be walking around in fear because, you know, we are protected. Everything is written out what's going to happen. And if you are in the risk group, I mean, take precautions over yourself. Just like I said, I wouldn't jump off a cliff scre screaming for Jesus to save me, um, knowing that I was falling to my death. You know, we have to use our wisdom and our insight into what needs to be done and what is the correct way to go about things. So yeah, I said in that comment that, you know, I am an introvert with a little bit of a prepper side. So I have been training for this my whole life. And I kind of look forward to being quarantined a little bit because um, <laughs> just to have some extra time with my family that there is no excuse and no reason and we're not able to go out the way we did and be distracted from each other. So... I just have to keep in mind, rather than um, deciding that this is a time to veg out and just stare at screens and um, isolate ourselves within our house, that we really do need to spend this time connecting to each other and getting out in ways that we can without being around people so that we're, you know, obeying the things that are put forward by the CDC and by our, you know, state of Wisconsin government. So... I hope that I'm right and this causes a good shift in our culture. I do have, you know, concerns, of course, over um, people that would be vulnerable to this and, you know, my clients. I, and we'll just see how it goes. But those are my thoughts on this situation for right now. Um, I'm feeling hopeful. I, I do feel like a lot of us are going to get sick. Um, I don't feel like enough precautions were taken at the beginning of this to stop it from coming into our country, to stop the spread. Um, now they're acting, uh, they're reacting to what's happening, but I almost want to say it's a little bit too late to stop it. So I think a lot of us are going to get sick, even people in my own household um, and people that I love dearly and hopefully everything comes out okay I'm going to continue to cover my family and you guys in prayer and um, just continue to pray Psalms 91 over your family and your loved ones and your workplace and just you know ask God to send you some peace over this if you have anxiety or fear um, yeah 
that's what I have to say about that. Um, we, we INFJs have been preparing for quarantine and isolation our whole lives, and I hope that you can find some peace and enjoyment in it, even though it is kind of a, a, a little bit of a scary time. But have a great day, guys. Live and love out of the way you were created.